on target, we're on track, and uh, the milestones that have been set at the start of this project have been delivered. So we started with uh, producers who are required to put in tags for their newborn sheep uh, and lambs, uh, so lambs and, lambs and kids, in uh, just in January of 2017, with very cost-effective tags subsidised by the government. We've moved from there to processors who are uploading and scanning those electronically tagged sheep and goats. And now we're in a situation where sale yards are meeting those same requirements and farmers with their private property transfers. So we are right on track. It's a very kind introduction, really, to it, to something that's paramount and really important for the industry and the benefits it will give you in the long run. I sort of look at the, the cropping and, and think, well, what, 15, 20 years ago, nobody used auto steer and a lot of people looked at the cost of that and thought, nah, stuff that, I'm just going to keep steering by hand. But uh, you wouldn't buy a new tractor now that didn't have it on it. And I think that the ID is just going to be something like that, that it's, it's just going to be part of our farming business and you'll scratch your head as to how you, know, you managed how before we, that. Yeah. yeah, look, I think there certainly has been a shift in attitude. I think there was a lot of unknowns um, originally when it was first announced. Um, but it, in my mind, at that stage, it was no different from cattle. It was just a numbers game. It was more numbers. You know, one of the issues I think we had to start with was around hardware and sourcing the hardware that, that was going to be used going forward. Um, but there was a lot of trial work done on existing, new, um, and, and that was a great part of it, was being able to test that and find out ways of getting efficiencies, capturing more data and value adding, not just being around compliance and biosecurity, but value adding that um, through use of EIDs. I thought it'd be a lot of work and it wouldn't work to commercial speed, but thank God I've been proved wrong. Um, they've come in here and um, it's worked very well. There's been a few little glitches here and there, which we expected, but we're working through that. With the in introduction of this technology, that's all about lifetime traceability. That's what our clients want overseas, that they can trace it right back to the paddock. And that's what this gives us. The key feature to this particular reader is that it's been placed in an area uh, to allow the user to capture the reads just through the normal process uh, that they would follow in the, in the sale yard. We haven't had to move the sheep or, or change the process at all. Uh, we're just capturing the reads and adding really no, no extra time. To, to the normal process. For the last 200 years, everything's been on pen and paper, but um, nowadays with the with the tablets, we can we can punch in stuff here and it sends it straight back to the database and it's right there on the computer, uh, ready for ready for when, when all the agents go back instead of having to key everything in and um, double it. That just completely takes out the double handling of um, of data. The, um, just the way that you can kind of run your sale just a bit more efficiently by using by using this technology just makes it just makes it yeah, so much easier from from pre-sale from the from the drafting and all your penning and then also to deliveries and making sure everything's going to the right to the right price and the yeah, right buyer out the back and getting loaded onto the right truck. Most most feedback it's um it's all it's all positive stuff as well. Everyone's just trying to give us that bit of feedback to forever forever make it better and better. We've replicated what the agents do on their cards and on their in their books. And, and we're digitising that on the spot. It's bringing immediate efficiencies to, to the stock agent business, both in the, here in the field and also in their back office. The efficiencies that it brings uh, means uh, they're able to get away from the yards earlier um, and also eliminating many of the historical mistakes that would be made in, inherent with any paper-based system. The introduction of EID scanning has really allowed our business to improve its tools in regard to traceability. So we're now able to uh, trace back to our producers and let our customers know where their product is coming from. From a food safety perspective, from a biosecurity perspective, our customers want to know this information and we're really happy that we're now in a position to provide it. At the moment we export about 80% of our product and we have customers in the US, in Europe, in Southeast Asia and in China, and all of those customers are looking for more information about the product that we can provide. And if they feel that we're providing information that we can show them is traceable and can be proven, then I think that's a really good tool for us to have. What this is all about is making sure that we've got a much more robust traceability in the event that we've got an animal disease emergency. Um, it's also they've got wonderful benefits in terms of our access to international markets. It's got wonderful benefits 
for productivity for our farmers and for everybody else along the supply chain. So I'd really take this opportunity to issue an enormous and heartfelt thanks to the people who have made this possible.